Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to add breadcrumb links. Now you may be wondering what a breadcrumb link is, but once you see it, you'll remember. It's basically when it will have across your page all of the links that show how you got to a particular page. So let's go ahead and take a look at plugins and we're going to find a plugin that can give us a breadcrumb link activity. We're going to check breadcrumb link in plugins and here we go. Here we've got breadcrumb nav xt and that's right at the top of the list and we're going to go ahead and install it now and click OK. Activate our plugin and we're going to come down here to settings and we're going to click on settings and it's going to ask what you want placed between each breadcrumb and I would like a larger than mark between each breadcrumb. It's also going to give the, bre the breadcrumb max title length and I'm going to put in let's say four it's going to place the home breadcrumb in the trail if you want it to and I'm going to leave that checked. It has our home template, it has our unlinked home template, our blog breadcrumbs are going to be placed in the trail if we keep that checked, it has our blog template, again the blog template unlinked, the main site breadcrumbs, and we can place our main site home breadcrumb in a trail if you're using a multi-site setup as well. I'm not, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. We've got the main site home template and the main site home template unlinked. And I'm going to click on Save Changes. Next, I'm going to go to Current Item. It's going to ask whether I want to link the current item, and I'm going to put Yes. And then it's going to ask if you include the page breadcrumb in the breadcrumb crumb trail and there's the page template. For posts and pages, it shows us the post template as well as the unlinked one, the post taxonomy, and I'm going to put pages first, and I'm going to click Save Changes. Next, Categories and Tags, if you'd like to put Categories and Tags in there, and Miscellaneous, and Save Changes. Next, I'm going to go to the developer site for this plugin, and that is mtekk.us backslash code backslash breadcrumb dash navxt backslash and I'm going to scroll down to where I see basic usage and I'm going to copy and paste this code that he has into my header.php file so going back into my page I'm going to go into appearance and then editor and I'm going to go down to header.php and then I'm going to go down to where I would like this to appear. Okay, I'm going to scroll down and right before the backslash header bar I'm going to copy that code that I had just I'm going to paste that code that I had just copied from his page and I'm going to click on update file. Now I'm going to go into my WordPress blog I'm going to refresh and I'm just going to go a few pages and you can see it actually is coming up right here and it's only showing the first few letters of each one of my pages and I don't like that so I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to fix it but as you can see this shows you everywhere that you have gone to get to this page and it just makes it easier for people to navigate through your site and to get back to where they were before so going back into edit themes I'm going to go into plugins I'm going to go back into my breadcrumb settings and I have this at 4 and that's because that's the maximum title length I put in. Let's go ahead and change that to 10. Scroll down and click on Save Changes and then do a refresh. And see it's given me more letters. So you can put this up to anything you want. You can even do up to 20 characters if you want. Save the changes, refresh, and there you go. So that's how you make a breadcrumb trail on your site. I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you at the next one.